Hello, and welcome back to the ongoing saga that is Andy Signor. So, in this video, we're going to... I'm going to talk a little bit about Andy Signor and his uh, latest antics. See, I've been speaking out for a year and a half. And... The ladies started talking... Uh about nine months ago and then just this past week things have been on a real roller coaster so I wrote an article about it Andy Signor triggered fat videos unsolicited yikes yeah I'm still playing with YouTube with titles and thumbnails but I'm learning a lot which is good. Okay, so last Saturday, YouTuber Saggy Melons couldn't resist coming back from herself and post hiatus to address Andy Signore wigging out over an old frenemy speaking in a Twitter, well, or X spaces, entitled Spaces Part Do, Andy Signore is a Weirdo, part of our ongoing hashtag blocked by Signore club meetings. What Matt Jarbo was saying was interesting However, not as interesting as Ignore's complete overblown reaction. Jarbo also sent him a text saying, You must be really afraid of what those girls know. The next morning, Miss Melons exercised her rusty live streaming skills and managed to summon a chatter by the name of Popcorn Planet, Signor's main YouTube channel. Before responding, various moderators double checked to make sure it wasn't a spoof. Upon confirmation that it was indeed Andy, Saggy did what she does best. She yelled and heckled Signor, commenting on this, the size of his penis, or lack thereof, among other things. Andy Signor responded in his usual style, with certain words emphasized in all caps. His first complaint was regarding his now wife. According to Andy, she's aware of certain sensitive videos being shared out, and is, in fact, okay with it. I think that Andy has applied his very least definition of consent to the situation, though. Just me? Next up was claiming that Saggy and the rest of us don't care about the truth. As if he's the only fair and true arbiter of, well, truth. I would argue that the man that instantly blocks all who question him might not have a close relationship with honesty. He was very true to form. In my opinion, he claimed the masturbation videos he foisted on unspecting women were not unsolicited. Andy, newsflash, women are generally not turned on by watching dudes play with their winkies. I know men don't believe that, but trust me, we don't really want that image in our brains. He spent a good half hour alternating between claim claiming Saggy doesn't care about quote-unquote facts, dissing the women involved, and attempting to spin a skewed narrative. Ms. Mellons agreed to a voice chat with him and unblocked him on Twitter to facilitate contact. In the meantime, one of Andy's OG mods and fellow YouTube creator, The Wancho, released a video directed at me and my friends. Juan, you've got us all blocked, so it seems like an exercise in futility. Of course, it was shared to us, so we've seen it, and rolled our eyes, pointed, and laughed. If you listen carefully, you will hear some of the gaslighting Andy subjects his community to. Andy's crew is hard at work striking videos slash channels, and even the Google Doc we have about, about the ladies' timeline of events. And what's next? You're not going to shut me up. You get that doc taken down and it will be reposted, so it's not like we haven't saved it offline. <laughs> the same thing with that par with that parody video, which I'm pretty sure is what he used to strike uh, Nerdette's newsstand and tipster. Yeah, 
neither of them can stream for a week, which means you're cutting into their their livelihood, their way of making money. I mean, that parody video is up for nine months, and now only in this past week it's a problem. Yeah, make it make sense. I wish I could report that Saggy and Andy had a nice chit chat. He took responsibility for his wrongs and apologized, but I can't because it didn't happen. Signor is rather famous for silencing critics, hence the formation of the hashtag Black by Signor Club. Feel free to join us for the next meeting. Coming soon to a spaces near you.